Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. This video is going to be definitely interesting and in the same way it will be informative too. Because in this video, I will be going to discuss 5 things which you can adopt in order to get a good CGPA in the end even if your first internals hasn't gone well. Yes guys, you should note that even if your first internals hasn't gone well, there is a way through which you can uh, end up with a good CGPA guys. So for all of that and more, if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, so if you are new to our channel, then immediately click on the subscribe button so that you will never miss out any informative video like this. So in the coming future, I am planning of uploading many informative videos regarding topics like placements preparation, like programming, it may be regarding uh, freelancing and many informative topics like this. So yeah, what I would like to suggest is even click on the notifications button too so that you will be the one who will be notified once I upload any kind of new video guys. With that note, let's start the video. First thing you have to do is to review the material. Go over the material which was covered in the test and try to understand it. So what generally happens is when you get the first internal question paper, so you'll get an idea of how uh, your teachers or professors or whatever it may be. So how they think and in what areas they are picking questions from. If your first internals are over, that doesn't mean that you should throw all the question papers and then you should just sit back and relax. So it doesn't work like that guys. So this is one trick which has uh, worked a lot for me. What you should be doing is you should go through all the questions one by one and then you should see uh, from what topics and from what areas uh, the teacher, I mean the particular teacher is picking questions from. That you will be getting a brief idea regarding how the paper is set and what the paper setter is expecting from you. This would definitely help you guys. In a nutshell, what I am trying to say is, so you should try to review the materials. You should try to review all the question papers and understand how the paper was set and where did you go wrong. So this was the first thing and moving on to the second one. Second thing which you have to do is to identify your areas of weakness. So determine which areas you struggle with and start studying those specific topics. If your first internals hasn't gone that well, so that means in some uh, areas you have faltered. So the areas of weaknesses of you where you were unable to meet to the expectations of the paper setter or your teacher, that areas has to be listed down on a paper and you have to work on it guys. So uh, one question that may arise in your mind now is that uh, since the syllabus for the next internals is not cumulative, so should I focus on the next thing directly or should I uh, focus on the, this thing first and then go on to the next thing. So in this juncture what I would like to tell you is once uh, go through all the areas of weaknesses. So suppose you faltered in the area of numerical problems then before moving on to the next block I mean the next uh, preparing for the next internals. So you it will be better it will be not only better it will be great if you just look on to the areas of weaknesses in which you found difficulty and due to which your first internals didn't go that well. One, one thing which separates the best from the rest is uh, the ones who work on those weaknesses. Yeah moving on to the third point this becomes a really important point asking for help it may be with your tutor it may be with your friend or it may be with your study partner so I have uh, covered this point in my previous video also in which I addressed a very important topic which was how to study for your internals yeah asking for help when you are in need becomes a really important asset while you are studying guys whenever you find any difficulty you must be brave enough you must be uh, free enough to ask to consult someone who is good in that so through that what will happen is even you will be getting gaining some knowledge and even the person who tells you it may be your teacher it may be your friend or it may be a study group so those people will also be able to gain some benefit from you uh, it will be like a revision for them too if you have any difficulty then feel free to reach out to your friend or it may be your teacher or it may be anybody regarding that matter but you should be brave enough to go and consult them and ask for help regarding a particular topic which you are finding difficult so this was the third thing guys yeah moving on to the fourth one practice 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 guys practice problems or take additional tests to improve your understanding and test taking skills. So practice doesn't only mean uh, practicing a lot of problems from your notebook or from any textbook. You should be able to practice in a test like scenario guys. You should be able to create a test like scenario in your uh, place itself and you should be able to practice it in that environment. When you directly go to attend the test in that test like environment which is completely new for you. So there is generally a nervousness which will affect your marks. So what I would like to suggest you is by practicing, try to practice by in a test like environment. So I have covered this point in my previous video too. Yeah, I am taking it again because it's really important. Yeah, but how can we practice in a test like environment? Immediately join our telegram group. In our telegram group, there are uh, students from different colleges from different corners of Karnataka. So they are sharing their question papers. So, so even first internals happen in every college. So there will be a set of question papers. Papers will be set in a unique manner in every college. So that will help a lot for you. 
because you will be able you will be exposed to a wide range of question papers so you will, there are many colleges in karnataka itself and then you will be able to see what kind of questions are appearing so what kind of questions are common in many papers so these kind of factors uh, help a lot so to get that benefit to acquire that benefit i would like to suggest you to join our telegram group i have provided the link in the description yeah moving on to the fifth and the last point getting organized becomes really important here guys it's pretty simple to be honest make sure you have a study schedule and a plan in place try to stick on to it what generally happens we make a plan we make time tables and then we follow it for 2 to 3 days and then we just leave off so that shouldn't happen for you you should be able to learn from your mistakes so you will be able to understand when you introspect yourself you will be able to understand what led you to this situation what made your first internals to go the way it went so making a study plan becomes really important and once you are done with your study plan you should just focus on sticking on to it so this will not only help in your uh, upcoming internals but will also help in the grand finale which is your semester and examinations so even that time it will be a great benefit for you so making a study plan is really essential and i hope all of you will make it today at least if you haven't done it yeah so these were the five points which i would like which i thought of discussing with you which will help you maintain a good cgpa in the end even if your first internals hasn't gone that well yeah before ending this video one more point becomes uh, more important than all the five points which we discussed here so what is that point so that point is to stay positive try not to get discouraged remember that everybody in this world has setbacks and it's normal to have them so you should be able to understand that you are not the only one in this situation so even many people are in the same situation wherein the first internals hasn't gone to our expectations it's time to identify the mistakes we did which led us to this situation and then to develop these five things which i covered in this video which will lead you definitely to a good path and 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 in the end you will be able to get a good cgpa which you are expecting from me so with that note i'll be ending this video guys so i hope all of you will adopt these five things which i covered in this video so there's nothing to worry so there's literally nothing to worry if your first internals hasn't gone to your expectations it's normal as wise men have said failures are a stepping stone to success so you should be able to learn from failures rather than regretting it i hope all of you will understand the importance of all the points which i covered in this video and try to adopt them and uh, come out with flying colors guys so if you found this video informative and helpful then click on the like button i'll be getting some motivation to upload same kind of videos in the coming future and then if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions for the upcoming videos feel free to put it on the comment section guys so i'll be reading each and every comment and i'll be trying to think of what can be done regarding it yeah this was it from my end guys so thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye